Innovation is coming up with things that are brand new, that have never been done before. And invention to me, I guess the way I would use the term, is a little more about making things, right? <clears throat> so it's a little more of maybe an incremental improvement and making something better. But I think you, having one without the other is almost always too shallow. So if you do pure innovation where it's just great thoughts but you haven't built anything, I don't think you actually will ever innovate the way you do. So that's what we try to do. We try to do everything as a big scale, uh, lots of innovation, but at the end of the day, I want to see a product. How do I look at five problems and understand these three are good for crowdsourcing and these two are bad? Um, if I was going to go, so that's interesting to me. So to me, that's the innovation. That's the fundamental research part of it. And then if you were my program manager, I'd say, okay. But to do that, now you've got to go build two things. So set up two programs and show me that here's something that does work with crowdsourcing, ideally something that failed, and show me that it works with crowdsourcing, and show me something that you would think would work with crowdsourcing and it doesn't work. So let's actually explore the fundamental science of it. You can't confuse crowdsourcing with free labor, right? That's not the same thing. And so I think it has to be interactive. And for crowdsourcing to really work, they have to have a say in the outcome, but also a say in the problem. I think a lot of stuff comes from, this will sound silly, but I think it comes from annoyance. I think what happens is there's this problem and it bugs you, right? <clears throat> and so you're just so bugged, you go solve it. And it turns out that a million people are bugged by the same thing. And the next thing you know, you have a whole product, right? And I think crowdsourcing, that's actually how you have the uptake. Is I don't think you can tell people, hey, go invent this for me. What you do is you go, hey, I have this problem and I, I think it should be solved. And everyone chimes in and goes, I think it should be solved too. You're like, awesome. Okay, here's a place for us to all come play and work together on that. But I think if you build a great product, you're going to be out in front of people and you're going to do just fine. There's nothing wrong with companies that want you know, patents and protect it and, and all that stuff, and I like it. But I think that the, if the majority of your efforts are sent on that, that's almost <clears throat> beginning the decay of your company, right? What you need to be focusing your bright brains on is making the next incredible product.